Hi, and welcome to this episode of Forkful of Noodles. I am Chris Mohan. The 2016 election is on every single 24-hour news network. Because let's face it, 24 hours is entirely way too long, and they have nothing else to really talk about. Preliminary reports show that the Republicans are having a hard time connecting with some of the largest demographics, these demographics being immigrants and women. Let's talk about how the GOP can be on the good side of both these demographics. Let's start with the Im immigrants. Number one, how about we pick a pseudo-Latino representative that doesn't flip-flop about the immigration reform every three days? Yeah. I'm looking at you, Rubio. If there was ever a time for you guys to listen to the evangelical Christians, it would be now because they're actually coming out pro-immigration reform, saying things like, hey man, Jesus would like me if I was legal or illegal, you know what I'm saying? You know? And they're probably realizing that if Jesus wanted to come into the United States, he's also going to need a green card, which is another reason why Mormons are wrong. Hold a mixer with the Latin Kings, the Sultans of Swing, and the Alliance of Confident Brown Gentlemen. You'll find out that they're probably just as fun as the name suggests. Two words. Photo up. Find a Mexican taco truck, get a taco, Instagram that shit, discard the taco. Holy shit, stop letting Rick Perry talk. Seriously, stop generalizing all immigrants and saying that they crossed a river or jumped over a fence. Some of them just walked right in. Now, let's talk about the ladies. Regina, take it away. One, after the Todd Aiken fiasco that still haunts the Republican Party, it would be smart to require that all Republicans at least take a basic high school biology class. I mean, sure, Anthony Weiner is kind of a scumbag, but at least he knows how female anatomy works. Sort of. Stop calling strong female politicians like Wendy Davis abortion Barbie for wearing sneakers while filibustering for 15 hours. It's you, fundamentalist G.I. Joe wannabe. You are the problem and I bet you couldn't filibuster for half of the time that she did if you were wearing army boots, an army jacket, a helmet, and an American flag. Three. Do not get rid of abortion clinics in states the size of small European countries like South Dakota and Texas. We don't need more people taking up space in this world. So in that case, think of it like this. Being pro-choice is really just being pro-environment. Stop letting Rick Perry talk. In your offices, please don't call women sweethearts. This isn't the 1960s and it was demeaning then. And seriously, none of you are as cute as Don Draper. Six, don't consider the emotional makeup of a woman to be a bad thing. It's actually a good one. You should be more concerned about John Boehner. Thanks, sweetheart. I, I mean, uh, I mean, Regina. But the GOP isn't just affecting immigrants and women. They're affecting another demographic. I'm, of course, talking about average Joes. All right, let's take care of this issue. Uh, as a young white male, I feel like the GOP is making me look really bad. Uh, but, but there are a few things, a couple easy things that you could do to help fix this. First of all, stop drinking champagne all the time, okay? It's classy. Sure, as hell. I mean, I'd be doing it right now if I could, but it also makes you look uh, elitist. And that's the other thing. You can't call somebody an elitist and then turn around and talk about your trust fund. I mean, seriously, why are we still letting Rick Perry talk? Pretty soon I'm not going to be able to talk to my foreign friends, or women, or for that matter, you know, some, some old people, like, uh, like my grandpa Gil. He won't talk to me. Gramps won't talk to me because he says I'm elitist, and I don't... They're there, man. They're there. It's all, it's all good. I don't know. See? Do you see this, Republicans? Seriously, we've given you some really good advice. So the next three years, this is your chance to make it all better. Look at this face. Look at this face. Grandpa Gill. Grandpa Gill! Just talk to me. Just once. I've grown in three inches since the last time we talked. Oh, Jesus. I'm a big boy now, Grant. I'm not a GOP. I'm not the GOP. I'm a man. I'm my own man. He's his own man. You got three years, Republicans. You got three years.
He might even be alive. He might, I don't know. Don't make. I get you started. Don't, don't. I love you, Grandpa. Grandpa Gil, if you're watching this, he loves you. I love you with all my heart. Just what is it? God damn you, Rick Perry. You son of a bitch, Rick Perry. God damn your swagger. Stupid cow. You got swagger for days, but you don't have. What you've, what you've done for the elderly community is you've done nothing for the Tore elderly. Tore family apart. Tore his family apart. You got three years to your pain. This has been your episode of Forkful of Noodles. Thank you very much for joining me. You can check out everything we do at ramennoodlescomedy.com. Be sure to check out everything in the description below. We want to thank all our actors and Mary Stewart for being our cinematographer for this episode. And we'll see you next time.